Diaz Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. All the way. Anyways, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there, yes, indeed, in a menudo style of direct fashion, indubitably, we're going to get straight into it. We're going to put graffiti on the bus. We're going to spray paint if we get caught. Okay. I don't know shit, homs. We're doing it in that fashion. Trip out now. What I wanted to talk about today was out-of-state Norteños. We're talking about Washington State Norteños. Bottles are with that business. Crazy individuals. People are getting smacked daily in Yakima, Washington. And Sasuke, in a direct fashion, we're going to get straight to that. Um, now, what I wanted to say was I've done time in other states. Okay, I've done time in Califas. I've done time in another state. Um, I've been around the block in the 6-4, riding on D's, right? Never flat, so I just get air those, air those putos up and get pushing. Um, and I met a lot of Norteños, Sureños, oh my, perros, everybody along the way. Um, everybody's wiggling. The establishment is real. Flags are planted, okay? This shit don't went mainstream, homie. It's nationwide. Everybody's being doing their thing wherever they're at. And holding it down for the soil for which they toil. Putting it down for their spot, their city, their territory, their barrio. Um, at the end of the day, it's righteous. That's a righteous thing uh, to hold it down for your true beliefs, your cause, and whatever you believe in. Do your thing, homie. Ain't nobody mad at you. Now, at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, what you have going on is a lot of other gangs and a lot of other opposition springing up and establishing barrios as well. So you're always going to have tension. There's always going to be tension there no matter where you go. So I was you can go to bumfuck Egypt over there where you're riding a camel like the tarrant, 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 getting your issue on and guess what's going to happen? There's going to be a wato with another camel like, so okay, hey, Simon, this is a blue paño, right? Doing their thing. That's just the way it is. It doesn't matter where you go. Every little city you go, you're going to see the same hoes. You're going to see... Bottles from the other side establishing. That's life. Such is life. Um, everybody wants to be from where they want to be from. And you can't take that shit away from them no matter what. The gang life, um, the wanting to be part of a body or part of something is instilled in people. It's uh, being territorial. It's human nature. It's just what it is. Gangs have been around uh, since the establishment of man. There was cavemen. So let's get in our bang on. So let's get, what's up? I'll have the mango salsa. Right? They were getting their bang on. That's just what it is. But anyways, up there in Washington State... In the Pacific Northwest, there's a diamond in the rough out there. Okay, there's a jewel. There's a jewel of a state called Washington taking bites out of apples like New York. Man, the apple state and these individuals, quietly as it kept, have been slept on for several years. Now they're starting to become noticed. They're starting to become noticed because they're starting to wiggle. Okay, now they've been wiggled. I've known it, right? Them bottles out there with, with the activities. You know, they're with the fully functions. Um, but now they're starting to establish to the point up under an umbrella and be noticed for what they really are, which are true soldados, end souls, um, bottles that are hitting people left and right and daily. So I remember w w uh, wiggling out there to Washington State, meeting up with a few homeboys, meeting a few homeboys. And they were telling me stories. And I was like, so let's get the wind blowing. That's, that sounds just like us. Right. And indeed it was. OK, there's nothing different. You know, people will say, hey, we're from Khalifa, so I mean, we're from where it's born and bred. We're from where the motherfucking establishment started. Ain't no one could ever be like us. And rightfully so, man, we do have our historia, we have our history, we have our cultura. But at the same time, you can't take anything away from these other states that are doing the same exact thing, man. They're established as Norteños or Sureños, and they're handling their business as well. So over there in Washington, hmm, ooh-wee. The wiggle it definitely is real. Now, I think it's becoming more mainstream and people are starting to finally hear about the Washington State Norteños. And I will talk about the Washington State Sureños because, yes, they are there as well. Um, but this is more so pushed, directed towards the Norteños that are out there in Washington State, giving them their shine, their respect, and just pe letting people know, man, that they are out there. Oh, yes, there will be sangre, right? They're out there. Um, they're becoming more mainstream because they have rappers like Babyface Wood, you know, coming from Yakima, and several other individuals that are basically putting Washington on the map. Now, it's been like this since the 90s. Vatos have been pushing their agenda. Vatos have been established. Flags are everywhere. So, okay, this is like the game of war. You know what I mean? We got this. They got that. They've been doing their thing. But at the same time, nobody recognized the movement. Nobody recognized it because they figured, eh, that's some Vatos over there in Washington. What, are they, what can they really do? So, that's good. That, that's what they can do, right? They can shoot. They can clap. They're clappers, man. Um, And it happens. So, anyways... Uh, on some real shit, 
um, just thinking about it and, 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 and going back to when I met these individuals, when I talked to this one dude, I remember, man, he was with the business. They bought that a big old Apple tattoo right here. And he was actually from Vancouver, Washington, which is a little city located on the border of Oregon and Washington. And he was with that activity. You know, and he told me that Norteños had been around since the early 90s. They established that they didn't get no credit for the work they had put in. And, and for, you know, the foundation that they had set for the homeboys. And I told them, well, sounds good. Hey, watch out. Don't blame me. I can't call her like an alcoholic. But at the same time, what I can say is I recognize game. Game recognizes game. Steel sharpens steel. I understand the situation they found themselves in. You know, being in a whole different state, a whole different territory, a whole different land, and pushing a movement that was founded and started in Califas. Now, you got to understand, California as a whole is a very game-related state. Okay, I don't know how we got the fucking bad name of Sasuke. That's what we got, right? We've been with the activities. We've been with the politics. We've been popping it off. Look at what just happened in Sakura. Motherfuckers will let you have it. Full crowds, everything, chopper status. It doesn't matter. California has always been down with the wiggle. The West Coast, Sasuke, the best coast. That's just what it is. So you have everybody also on the West Coast wanting to have a piece of that pie, wanting to be affiliated with that, wanting to be a part of that. Okay, and how does that thing get started in Washington? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, so okay, listen up, orejas, right? How it gets started in states like Washington and several other states, because Norteños and Sureños have stretched out all the way to Egypt. Um, how it's been started is you have Baltos that transplant. They basically move uh, for one reason or another. Maybe their familias decide that the work is better over there. Um, the rent is cheaper, so it's good. It, they like the, uh, the, the weather, so it doesn't matter. Whatever the case may be, at the end of the day, they find themselves in another state, but the fire still burns within them. They're still from their barrio. They still represent the norte or the sur. They're still about the function and the program. So what they do is they meet some little homeboys around there, and they start to indoctrinate and educate them into the plight of what it takes to become a norteño or a sureño, oh my, or even a perro. And these youngsters are looking for an outlet. They're looking for a familia besides their own. Someone that shows them love and canalismo and embracement. And they gravitate towards... There's about, there's about, there's like, I had a dream one day Norteños and Sureños would be walking these calles. And Simon, they're like, we're right here, homie. You know what I mean? So like, All you got to do is put me in and watch out. I'm there. Like Gunners Collective. And we don't fuck with Gunners Collective. I don't either. Right? Bam. They're good. They're ready to go. So, um, however the case may go... Um, most of the times, most of these borders that are established out of state in states like Washington, Oregon, Idaho, oh my, Montana, and so on and so forth, are established by Norteños or Sureños from Los, from San Jose, Salas, whatever the case may be, Merced, Modesto, that actually, Tulare County, stand up, that actually move up there and, uh, and start to wiggle, start to do their thing, start to have, um, you know, young homies hanging around, drinking pisto, kicking back, you know, normal 90 gang shit we used to do. Different now. Different now in the point that you can't tell a Norteño and a Sureño from each other. Um, Vatos are more professional. They're about their feria. They have a different agenda. It's about going out there and getting that bolsita, plain and simple, period. Now, I will say this. When I did meet Vatos from Washington, they were back to the future, Marty. They were a little bit behind, not necessarily a mind state and mentality, but in the way they gangbanged. They were still on that north-south hype to the fullest. They were still wearing banos hanging out to their fucking ankles. They were still wearing red suspenders, uh, suspenders corduroys, creased up. Oh my, and hush puppies. They were still with that old Chicano hype right now. I'm, I'm a self love it. I'm stuck in the 90s in the vortex, but I never want to come out of the 90s. So I get, you know what I mean? Easy, everybody in the house say easy. Come on, come on, come on. You know what I mean? I'm stuck in the 80, 90 shit, and I always will be forever forward with that. But what I'm saying is they were kind of behind in the gangbanging mentality, but it all changed. It all changed, and especially changed with Vatos like from Utah, the Norteños that are established there, and Washington. Reason being is a lot of these Vatos started getting caught up in catching cases and going feds. And once you go into the feds, you find yourself um, surrounded by a lot of Norteños from Califas and Sureños as well. Oh my, and what happens? Oh boy, I'm going to tell you, every liquor store, every telephone pole, the writing is on the wall. The posters are up, man. This is how you establish, homie. This is how you set up a barrio. This is how you really set up an agenda. And so they're getting laced up and they're getting back out to them guys, man. And they're really putting it down and they're getting up to par. They're getting their barrios up to par with what's happening in Califas. Because Kualias is kept, no matter what anyone says, respects to all the other states, Califas is the hub. The hub of gang activity as far as the West Coast. This is where it cracks. 
This is where it happens from the valley to the bay. That's how we operate. I'm a crazy water local rolling from the valley to the bay, transporting yerba. Orale, allegedly. Anyways, shout out to Dino. Now, what I will say is this. Um, meeting them vatos and them telling me about their hood and how they were doing it, I was proud. I was proud because the foundation for which I had played an intricate part, a piece of the puzzle and set up, they were still doing it. Now, I was no longer with the cause. I was no longer with the activities. I have love and I always will forever forward with that. But at the same time, I was no longer an active uh, member of the group. Okay. But just sitting back and listening to his conversations and talking to the Vatos, I was proud in the sense like, damn, look at how far it's spread. You got Vatos up in Washington gangbanging? So I never thought, you know, that they can get down like that. But then again, you have to think, why not? They're Chicanos as well. They're Mexicanos. They're Latinos, they're sangres, they're bloods, they're crips, and oh my, Sasuke, they're gangbangers. Um, and they do it in a real way because they still have that mentality of fucking boys in the hood are always hard. That type of mentality. So I see easy in the background, so I'm running with it. Spence on la tira, the wind's blowing. Um, but you understand what I'm saying as far as, you know, they're up there. So now let's fast forward and let's rewind and fast forward and then rewind again and then fast forward one more time. And now we're in Washington, cruising, okay? And I will tell you this. Dangerous, dangerous area. Um, more gang infested, it's like cucarachas, they're everywhere. More gang infested than you would think. You know, and the Norteños as well as the Sureños are holding it down for their own up there. Oh, Vato, they took me back. So I thought I was in a fucking time machine. The flux capacitor was going, and I got there and I was like, damn, this is like taking it back to my body back in the early, early 90s before I got incarcerated uh, when Vatos were really on some gangbanging shit. They were really about the hype. I'm seeing Sureño uh, uh, taggings crossing out. I'm seeing Norteño taggings crossing out. And I don't necessarily see that in Northern California too much anymore, depending upon where you go. You still will have some of that old school gangbanging mentality. But for the most part, like I said, everybody is about their money. Uh, Saca la bolsita, they're try trying to get their issue. Separate mine from yours. I need mine fast. What about, what about mine? What about yours? You know what I mean? Did I say that you're going to get yours? No, but you just separate mine from yours. So I got a piece of the puzzle too. Now you ain't got nada. Puto. What you got is your walk on. Shut it. Boom. And do a pushing. Um, but over there in Washington, it, it's all love. It's all canalismo. It's all embracement. It's that old school stilo from which I came from, from which I was used to. And, and I got love for it. Now, of course, you have these vaultas that are coming out of the Fed and they're establishing um, to what degree of establishment is going on, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys because that's neither here nor there and it's their business. But at the same time, I will say this and I'll say it proudly, right? Um, I'm proud of the Chicanos holding it down for their heritage and still staying true to their brown people. Now, whether it be north and south, and I know gangs are not a great thing looked at in the eyes of the beholder, look at it in the eyes of the people. Um, but at the same time, man, I'm just proud to know that the Chicanos are out there doing their thing however they want to do it. Now, I've seen a lot of gangs when I went through Washington. I've seen Vato from Florencia, 18. Uh, what else was up there, man? Tortilla Flats, Vato from Compton, Barrio Tres. There was a lot of autos, and they've always done that. Sureños will establish their well-known barrios from Los and from the IE and from that area, San Diego, y todo, oh my, right? San Fe, all that. And go establish in different cities, whereas Norteños are more homegrown. The barrios that I see in Washington are like Brown Pride Norteños, uh, Barrio Campo Vida, uh, if I said it right, or Campo Vida, whatever it is. These are barrios that are homegrown and established. That's just how the Norte has always been. You're not going to see Westside Sanjo up in Washington. You might see a vato from Westside Sanjo up in Washington, but he's claiming a barrio from that state. It's more of a homegrown thing. And that's to say someone's no one's right, no one's wrong. It's just where the Sureño movement is more about establishing their well-known barrios and making their presence felt and spreading their wings, whereas Norteños are about establishing where they're at. It's not where you're from, it's where you're at. And doing their thing. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. They're all doing their thing. It's all gang banging one on one at the end of the day, and they're all down for theirs on both sides. Both campos will handle their business. Period. Plain and simple. I know that for a fact. Um, but they've been wiggling in Washington. You know, Washington State is not to be slept on. These bottles are out there smacking shit. You know, I was looking into all the Sacramento stuff lately. You know, with bottles getting off and. And, you know, you have Crips and Bloods that are starting to ignite that fire. And, and and the color lines and the barriers and the affiliations and how everyone moves and kicks it in soccer is different. Okay? But Washington is straightforward. Norte and Sul. Crip and Blood. You are what you are. You hang with who you hang with. And that's what it's going to be like, you know? Um, and that's where I come from. I come from the era of red and blue. You know, do I think it's a great thing? Charlie, man, I'm about the unity of the people. I hope every, so okay. green is the only color that should matter. And brown. Bang, bang. 
you know. Um, but it's neither here nor there, man. Everyone's gonna have their own ways of thinking. Everyone's gonna do what they do and how they do it. That's that's period. That's life. Um, but up in Washington, uh, they're with it, you know. So looking at all the Sakura killings and all this shit in Stockton and Sanho that's going on, San Fran, uh, the murders that are happening. I'm not saying they're necessarily all gang related. I'm just saying fools are getting smacked. Uh, this is the future, man. Um, these young kids, man. They're the TikTok pants will get you. Feel me? Period. Edgar, stand up. Um, the island boys are the are the clapping boys. They're clapping. Now over there, of course, uh, in Washington, ain't shit. And the beat goes on. Nothing stopped. They're also clapping. In fact, they're clapping just a little bit more so than a lot of other states. And I'm starting to notice this. I'm starting to read articles. I'm starting to talk to people that I know from the Pacific Northwest that are telling me, "So okay, watch. I don't even go over there to Yakima." Man, that's Krakama over there. I said, why? There's Mokine One, Charlie, homie, it's cracking off daily. The North and South issues are fucking vicious. The red on red tends to pop off too. And I said, ooh, we, they're on some hype like that. And he says, Simon, cabron. Hey, they're over there like, viva, viva Mexico, cabrones, pero es Yakima. They're with it. They're with it. See, so people sleep on these other states. You know, so I wanted to bring the attention and put it out there for the people that are going to Washington, moving to Washington, possibly live in Washington. A respects to you vatos out there, man, for holding it down for your own. At the same time, ponte trucha on your wiggle because, man, when you start to do too much, you start to put the spotlight on yourselves. And vatos like me that are way over here in Molesta are like, watch out. Mm -mm. Yep, the wind's blowing over there. Where the wind blows, the feds will go too. And so it's only a matter of time before they start cracking down on you. Then it's really crack them up. Okay, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ponte trucha. And not necessarily Yakima. Yakima's the most known city out there in Washington to really be gang related, but there's several other cities where Norteños and Sureños have established in their handling. Like I said, it's all the way from Vancouver to Seattle. Motherfuckers will smack your shit backwards. Noodle time. You know, ramen. With that being said, all I can say, man, is for Baltas that are thinking or contemplating on moving their familia to the Pacific Northwest, uh, 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 Washington uh, state, I would say, uh, think twice. You better think twice, right? Because uh, ain't nothing too different from Califas anymore. See, they're back up to that par. They're back up to that level where um, they're really gang affiliated up there and they're really wiggling and they're established in a different type of way. You know, we've always known about a group or an organization, or I have at least, um, and I'm going to put you up to game, on a gang called the Big Dog Norteños. Now, they were a group that was out there in Washington that were really holding it down for their state, a homegrown group um, that were holding it down for their state for several years, you know, a decade uh, upon maybe two. Um, and what happened was they were up under their own umbrella. They were kind of like the Denver, Colorado, Northside Mafia, uh, uh, Northside, North, uh, what are they? Northside Mob, Norteños, or whatever they are. Um, where they, yes, they claim the Norte, they are Norteños, but at the same time, they're not under the Califas umbrella. Well, things have changed. See, the big dogs found themselves within the fold. They finally uh, uh, broke it down to the point where not on some sucky shit, but we're like, you know what? If we're going to claim the North, if we're going to be a part of that cause, man, we need to be a part of the original cause. And they came within the fold of the Califas car. And Sabasque, they're functioning as so. The big dogs have now dissipated. They're no longer an organization. And all Norteños are up under one umbrella. And that's just the way it always is going to be. You're not going to have the North in your mouth and claim, you know, uh, the, the concept of the North, man, without paying your dues and being a part of where it originated. And the same thing goes for the Sur. If you're going to be flying that flag, if you're going to be a, a Sureño Soldado, if you're going to be a Southsider, homie, you're going to recognize those who are really the ones. And that's just how it is. Doesn't matter where you're from. So get, if you know what it is, then now you know. Bang, bang. Anyways, um, but I will say that Washington um, is established now. They're very established. The North is kicking. They're alive and well. So get, they're holding it down for their own. Much respect to the Vatos um, that are out there doing their thing. At the same time, like I said, I don't promote gang uh, activity, um, but I don't shit on it either, man. I was once there. I know what those youngsters are going through. I know how they wiggle in life, man. And it's nothing but respect. I hope that at the end, they get everything that they want. You know, I don't hope they get everything they got coming to them because what they got coming to them man, is, is life in prison and death. I hope they get everything that they want, you know, in life. You know, some people are able to get in, wiggle, have a good time, be a part of the body to establish, and then get out carrying that good name, you know, without having to find themselves within that fold of telling on people or getting caught up uh, or getting told on or things of that nature, man. That's always an ugly look at the same time, man. Um, it's such as life. It's part of life. Anyways, respect to the Vatos in Washington. I just wanted to put it out there for those of you that didn't know. Yes, the wiggle is real out there in the Northwest. They do their thing righteously, man, and they will bop your shit off. Google it, but you don't believe me. They're killing people over there. Anyways, allegedly. 
With that being said, man, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about you and your familia. Yes, there are values being established every day around you. So I was good. Do you want to participate or do you want to get participated on? That's totally up to you. I myself like ribeye steaks. I'm going to continue to do what I do and stay away from that and unite the raza as such if I can. Like I said, the sul, the norte, the perros. Oh my, man, let's get it. Black and brown unity as well. You know what it is. I got love for my brothers and we're going to do it like that and in that fashion. Hit that like and subscribe if you like this video. If you don't, it's okay. So let's get over it. See, it's up to you, man. You can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. We're going to continue to strive and struggle for what we truly believe in. And I know you'll do the same. Go out there and get some money, man. Make it happen. Take care of your familia. The gun. Bang, bang. Washington. They're with the wiggle.